Hi everyone, Eric Price from GG Interactive, and this is video number six in our series of videos, our weekly video series. Yes. Uh, Jeff, why don't you tell everyone what the news is for this week? We got big news. So Tesla, the automaker, has announced that they will not initiate patent lawsuits against anyone who, in good faith, wants to use their technology. This and is really neat. This is cool. Yeah. yeah. No, and I hope to see, you know, hopefully some software companies follow this. I mean, patents... Yep. Uh, are the the idea of them is a good idea they're here to help us uh, create uh, technology but I think Elon Musk and the group at Tesla yep. are really taking things to the next level by making this announcement and letting other people use it use their uh, use their what is the, they use their information their patent they won't sue as long as there were some conditions if they can't copy the car, yeah, so you can't right. make the exact same looking car, but you can take the technology that Tesla has developed in the uh, electric car arena right. and, and put that into your own uh, car design and, and move forward. So I was, I was kind of, my, my gears were turning and I was thinking, you know, why, what's their motivation for this? Right. And, and I was thinking about um, uh, Epic Games, which is a, a yep. game studio uh, who also does uh, game engine technology. Now, a, a game engine is kind of all of the pieces that make a game run. A lot of you know the uh, the Unreal Engine, and that's that's what right. Epic made. So I thought, okay, well maybe they're following the same model that 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 they did, and I think they kind of stumbled into it. So they made the game uh, Unreal, yep. right, which was a huge hit. Yep. And then that made everybody else want to use their game engine technology, which launched their game engine yep. business. So obviously the same idea here is they had this huge hit with this car to make underlying um, electric systems right. that I guess other people then could, could purchase right. from them, essentially, right? right? You want to talk stock market lingo, a high tide rises all ships. See that? You know, the idea that uh, you know, it's, not, uh, it's not my piece of the pie, but actually making the pie, pie bigger. bigger and yeah. I, I well, really appreciate what hat, Tesla's doing. Yeah, now. hats off to those folks. I really like Elon Musk. Uh, and the market liked the idea, too, because the shares rose about 13% within five days. Yeah. So, so for the people that thought that they were giving up value for the shareholders, uh, apparently, the market didn't agree with that. Right. Yeah. That's very good. Let's move right into our question of the week. And uh, this week, Mr. Tensi from Oak Brook, Illinois, said, asks, my school has a budget set aside for professional development. Do you offer any classes? Hmm. Oak Brook. I've been to Oak Brook. We have been to Oak Brook yeah, a number ago. of times, uh, yes. I'd go there. So, so yep. in fact, I'd go there for uh, what we call a boot camp. So a boot camp is the name of our professional development course yep. uh, that we've designed for teachers. Uh, we'll come out to your location if you want, uh, or uh, Jeff here had the great idea, we really should encourage doing these virtually. Yep. Right. So I don't know if you want to talk a little bit. Yep. So teachers can log in. Yeah. The boot camp is fun. Uh, we have some specific courses. And we're going to dive you right into actually running code in Visual Studio and generating animated scenes. and. I mean, it's like computer science 101. We, we know that uh, a lot of teachers are intimidated to teach computer science, especially yes. if they don't have a computer science background. So this professional development is geared uh, towards making and lessening that curve for you, keeping yep. you ahead of the students yep. uh, so that you can feel confident in your classroom and give you some skills. Uh, on an interesting note, this was a, my first official paid work that I did yes. with, uh, with Gigi Interactive many years Garage ago. Garage Games. Well, right. But and, prior yes. to GG Interactive, we, we had the uh, Garage Games brand. Uh, we still use it for certain things today. But yeah, I was I was uh, teaching these for students uh, and teachers. I did boot camps for students as well, and they were they were a lot of fun. Uh, also, you might want to come to our location. Uh, we, we're willing to host you in Las Vegas. Yes, we are. Usually a plus for for a lot of teachers. Yes. Uh, or in the Pacific Northwest in Vancouver, Washington, as well. Yep. Okay. So uh, in closing, uh, we want to thank Mr. Tenzi from yes. Oakbrook. Uh, we really appreciate your feedback, and that's what's really driving our development here on this product is your feedback. We know a lot about game development. We know that uh, you as teachers don't have time to be game development experts and teachers uh, and experts in the other seven uh, topics that you teach in a given semester. So we're really going to try to help you out, but it's your feedback from looking at our material our expertise yep. combined with your experience in the classroom that's going to make a great product, so we can't do it without yep. you. So, uh, Jeff, why don't you tell people how they get a hold of us to get early Email access? Email us, earlyaccess at ggeinteractive.com. Go to the web, www.ggeinteractive.com. Sign up at our forums and subscribe to our YouTube channel right here, and we'll see you again next week. I like that little extra flair, Jeff. Thank you.